All right, after some off screen struggling, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this together. I didn't peek, I just got it you know, off enough to where I can pull her off for you guys. Similar to all Twisbees, it comes with a how-to fillet. And I believe this is also where it comes and tells you how to clean it. Yes, it is. Tells you right here. Most Twisby pens, and I'm pretty sure this one does too, comes with a like a like a little silicone thing. Yeah, right here. Like a little things to clean them. Let's go ahead and get to what we really came here for, which is the pen itself. It is a beautiful shade of green. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and look at the ink that it came with wow it's very it's i don't know why it reminds me of like the finish of the cerulean blue color that came out a few months back and by finish i mean the opacity of the green when i had seen it in pictures i don't think pictures does this pen justice because it did not look as nice as it does in person you also have like a goldish rose goldish little finish right here on the inside which is a really nice touch and then this is the, an eco tea so the eco teas have like a more or or are said to have like a wee bit more of a triangularness to them which i can feel it right here like right here like when you're gripping it it's a little bit more of a guided grip as opposed to a circular grip i do like them i feel like the eco teas are um easier or like i would say beginner friendly just because it guides guides your like you know how you hold the pen <laughs> the nib is also a beautiful like gold rose gold color you guys can see here it looks fairly thin for a medium nib but then again my twisbees are kind of like known to write medium like my fines feel like medium even my extra fine sometimes write really wet, which is surprising to me, but it's not anything that's too bad. And then, I'll, then I'm just making sure that the filling mechanism works. Wow. I really am enjoying the accent of the gold here. It has like an O band, like a little silicone band right here. I would have to pull out another Twisby just to see if they do have it as well. No, oh, that is so beautiful. The Twisby logo at the top. It's a little red. I think I would kind of like it if they matched the backing of the logo to the pen. Because in this case, it's giving me like Christmas vibes. Which I'm pretty sure is kind of maybe the goal for this particular pen. Just because of, you know, taking into consideration around the time it came out in. But definitely a stunning pen. And then the ink it came in is Midnight Blue. I don't own any of the Twisby inks. I think this was kind of a missed opportunity to use their green. Because they do have a green in their collection. But I suppose that they went with Midnight Blue just because it's a, a, like, you know, a better overall color. You know, more user friendly, especially like if you're someone that just likes to use them for daily writers and not just, you know, not just because you can buy pretty ink with them. This is a good solid choice. It definitely glass, and it's like thick glass. I don't think I would break it if I dropped it. I mean, if I dropped it repetitively, repetitively, I'm pretty sure I would could break it. But the packaging on this is also kind of stunning. Let me see if I can open this. Wow, look at that. It's like a purple tinged blue. I will swatch it at some point for you guys. Or maybe when I do like a ink collection video, I'll swap it, swatch it for you guys. But yeah, beautiful blue, frosted glass. It even feels cool to the touch. Has the name right on there. The cap is a definite favorite of mine. It kind of reminds me of Ruby, like plastic Ruby. It is really pretty packaging. Wow. I don't plan on filling in the like um filling the pen anytime soon just because I have my currently inked already inked and it just took me a while to get to unboxing this box just because I was doing other things. 
but wow maybe this will i'll ink this probably more than likely in my next um probably within the next month or so because i tend to fill my inks or my pens with a small amount of ink as you guys can see right here with the to be my 580 it's like a very small amount it's just barely like enough to like get to the nib like it's like around here because I have a decent amount of pens and I want to be able to give them all a chance to be put into use. So I just fill them in with ink that should be good to last me a couple of months. I mean a month or so at most. But yes, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the Royal Jade Eco T Twisby. If you guys would like to see a writing comparison because now I do have all the... Uh, nib sizes that Twisby offers. I have the extra fine, the fine, the medium, the bold, and then the stub 1.1 in different colored pens. I will gladly do a comparison video. Just let me know so I can ink them all up with the same ink so that way we can get a more accurate, you know, comparison. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!